Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to FTL Multiverse. It's been a little while since we played a little bit of the multiverse. We have a few things to do. We can play as, uh, we got a few ships that I would like to play as, fun ships. For instance, the B type of the Rebel flagship. We still have three artillery weapons, but we have an eight power drone control system from the beginning of the game, which I think would be kind of stupid, incredible, and kind of fun and weird. What other ships do we have, though? Do we have anything, anything new, anything interesting? Old-fashioned Kestrel Cruiser, which is not actually that old-fashioned. Not the uh, vanilla one. I guess probably if you win as this ship, you get access to the vanilla one, but it's 11 crew membership, which is pretty good. Who else do we have? We could try Cura, like B-type Cura. We've done the A-type Cura before. This one's called Burn. <laughs> Oh, what's this one called? Hurt! Okay, well, I mean, a little scary. What else do we have here? Brood Cruiser, Tucko's Personal Cruiser. D did we really not unlock the B-Type? Prototype Cruiser, Proto... Defeat the flagship with Prototype Cruiser B to unlock Tucko's Cruiser B. Interesting, we want to run, but it doesn't count for an unlock, apparently. NG Cruiser, uh, Zoltan Cruisers, blah, blah, blah. We got rock and crystal ships. Try a Sylvan ship. He starts with the uplifted burst laser Mark III, five shots for two power, and then not really anything else. I also don't know if there's any special th things to do with this ship like special achievements or anything I know that there there is one unlock you have to beat Sylvan using the type A of his own cruiser to unlock the C type cruiser which would be kind of fun but I don't know if we would, could even do that or would even do that I am just spending a little bit of time here just going through the ships by the way <laughs> retail cruiser I don't know much about that one dude obelisk ships aether shields is our tech Starts with the shield system as well. Harbinger, Mark One, Augmented Lanius tech with the Carnage. Ooh. Three power for six damage worth of missiles with an 80% breach chance. That seems pretty freaking good. And then it also has the scrap repair arm on the ship permanently, which is very interesting. Um, you know what? After all, after all this is said and done, what if we just go random? We already played as a ship, go random. Okay, it gave me the same ship tw twice in a row. <laughs> go random, all right, Valkyrie, let's do it. We'll play as, uh, as Sylvan's own ship. Do, 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 do. What the heck are you, Slug Saboteur? Cloaks to avoid crew and focuses on sabotaging systems with enhanced damage, moves slower but ignores doors when cloaked. Sabotage bonus is reduced for each enemy present in the room. And we just have a slug and then we have super slug. Max health increased to 250. All right, Ares. Mud said he wanted to be a mud dud, so you can be a mud dud. Sylvan. Be Brendan Toad because well, I mean, sure. You know who's gonna be this guy? Snail God Onion. Well, no, I want to. I want it to say Snail. So hold on. Onion God, comma Snail. <laughs> Make it say Snay. <laughs> there you go, Snail. I want him to be on the ship because he's a slug. Then we got Toad, who's not actually a slug. He's a Toad, and then Mud Cedo, who's not actually a slug. He's a rock man. In, in my head cannon, but sure, you can be uh, on the ship. All right, we spent way too long just looking at ships. Start the game. We're gonna go on Extreme Challenge, because it's really funny and fun. Maybe not funny, but fun. Proceed with your mission. Turn on the beacon. Perform a task. Yes, salvage. Eight scrap, why not? Let's take a, l a minute and look at our ship. We have no shields, by the way. However, we have a 12 bar energy shield. And then the uplifted burst laser takes 16 seconds, which is actually 14.4 seconds to charge. 
Why are you so slow? <laughs> 0.6x speed, really? Okay, well, I mean, you're gonna be the pilot, so you might as well stay there. You can be there, you can be on weapons. Let me look, look at their abilities, too. You cloak, you stun bomb. One ion damage does not stun allies, but can ionize your systems, will tempor temporarily cloak and cease movement for 12 seconds. Hiding from enemy crew can still attack at 1x damage during the ability. Lockdown bomb. Breach ion and lockdown bomb. 30 crew damage. Two system damage. Five second stun, three ion damage, no crew friendly fire, but can affect your own systems. So we, we want a boarding system and then we want to send over our crew members to board the enemy ship. I understand. Let's do this. Jump ahead. A slow slug inconceivable, says Kurgo. <laughs> inconceivable! Uh, two fuel for four missiles? Uh, we're not gonna accept this offer. Why do we have 25 missiles? Is it because we are Sylvan? Hold on, use an augment. Summon a store for one fleet boost. Look, I would like to maybe sell some of my stuff, but I don't want to just summon a store for no reason. So I think... One, two, one, it would go this way. I think we want to find stores and start selling our stuff, but you can't just sell your stuff to... Well, you could sell your stuff to Sylvan, I guess. Save the crew, intruders on board. Well. It's just a couple of NGs, luckily. Well, this'll take a minute. Uh, everyone relax. Why are these NGs so good at combat? You do half combat damage, and yet they're killing the crap out of my crew. All right, well, let's la wait for you to very slowly walk into the med bay again. Heal up. That ship is having a bad day. I could have taken these engines aboard my ship and, and accepted them. They could have been a part of the crew. Instead, they just wanted to try to kill me, so I killed them instead. Goodbye. Slugs are known for their ferocity in battle. Ooh, they make you all slimy. Do something aboard the ship. There's nothing to do aboard the ship. Do nothing. Store or store distress? Store distress. Kurgo says I like the decoration of the ship. It is a very brightly purple ship. I like it. I also like it. Whoa, wait a minute. The uplifted burst laser has a 100% breach chance and a 70% fire chance? Really? Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to that at all. Wow. So in theory, that started like four breaches, right? I mean, we can we can see. It just started one? I thought it would have done more than just one. By the way, their ship is already dead. Like their O2 is gonna go offline in a second. We're gonna be able to kill the crew uh, in one shot. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna, you know, take a drink. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to FTL, where your gold train melee champion human versus generic human equals lost. <laughs> I mean, what, let's see what we have here. We have um, 250 HP on Sylvan, who does 1.5 times combat damage and takes lower damage from fire and suffocation. You know what would be cool then? Um, going up against the uh, true final boss stuff. You know, having to fight Ombelisks, because all of their ships have no oxygen and we, we take less damage from suffocation, maybe? I don't know why we only summoned one breach. Maybe it, it breached the same tile over and over again. I don't know. Regardless, they're all dead. We just gotta wait a second. We will just you know, chill for a second. It's worth it. It's worth it to let the the crew suffocate to death. What is this? Do you guys see this? There's like a, a a slug on a computer console. Why? There's ponies in the storage bay and then a box that's just bleeding. What is happening aboard my own ship? I like the fish tank in the oxygen room, by the way, and the 
weird skull hanging out in this room. Kurgo says, I like how on some ships you can see how big the teleporter is gonna be. Yes, right here, there's a teleporter icon in the middle of the ship. You can tell that this three space room is the teleport room. I think that's a very nice quality of life thing because some ships you just want to know ahead of time. Can summon a store at the cost of one fleet boost. Provides 35% combat resistance and hazard resistance to crew inside of empty rooms. Provides a cheaper option for repairs at empty beacons. Merchant shields. Should we maybe get rid of the merchant's beacon? I think I'm going to. And I think I'm going to... Probably save up for a fuel system. Although a teleport, ah, we can't buy the teleporter. All right, well, if we can't buy the teleporter, let's save up for the um, the shield system. Dun, boom, dun, boom. Attack the ship, avoid the ship. Pirate ship jumps in nearby, disappointed to find the supply depot already destroyed. We got 10 scrap and then the possibility for combat. This seems like the perfect combat to get into myself. I also like that there is a uh, weird slug and a mantis. Maybe we can make something happen here. They do have a repair drone. Because they have a repair drone, we should take it out first, otherwise it's gonna repair everything. There we go. So now that's offline. Their one laser doesn't really worry me too much. Maybe we should go for O2. I mean, we have 12 shots that we can tank before we have to worry about taking damage because we have a 12 bar energy energy shield here. Did they get stunned? 100% chance for a seven second stun, really? My God, that's really good. Seventy percent chance of a fire. This is a great weapon. Where have you been all my life? We're gonna sell a lot of missiles, and we're gonna be doing a lot of jumps, and we're gonna fight rebels at the exit. By the way, just in case you don't know what's gonna happen here, it's the Swiss Army laser. I mean, it, it's here's why I like it. I like it because it means I can kill crew, <laughs> which means that this is gonna take a long time. Ergo says only two shields max. I was not paying attention. If so, that is scary. Uh, take these guys down. But I guess the idea is that you wanna, you know, strike the enemy before they can strike you. And if we get a teleporter with a lot of weapons, maybe even a weapon pre-igniter, we'll be set. So what are we gonna do first? Uh, we should go for their O2. I, I can tell that there's a fire in there, because that's what this gun does. Now what? Ah, you know? I understand. I, I know why it's not doing breaches, uh, and I will tell you why. Um, it's because when you look at, when you mouse over this, it says fire chance 70%, breach chance 100%. It goes in order when it, the game rolls its dice to try to determine what happens in a uh, in a bullet. So it rolls for fire damage first, and then if it fails, it has a 100% chance of breaching. That's why it says adjusted 30%. The result of one shot is a fire 70% of the time and a breach 30% of the time. That's why. Now, are you gonna be able to put out the fire? No, so you will die, beautiful. So yeah, that's that's why we're not getting the breaches. It's doing something with every shot, but it's not always going to be creating a breach. It only creates a breach 30% of the time. Glad I figured that out for myself. <laughs> it's one of those things where 
you know, if you were playing vanilla FTL, it wouldn't say adjusted, it would just say 70%, 100%, and you'd be very confused. Cargo says 30% of the time, every time. That's a good way of putting, of putting it. Isn't that oxygen generating? Nope. That is a shell, not an orchid. So, that was easy. 126 scrap, we'll go to the merchant. We're not gonna be able to buy shields, but we will be able to sell a bunch of stuff. Use Sylvan to hail Sylvan. Don't be a stranger, stranger. I see you are not the stranger, but rather me, me. I'm afraid no discounts though. There's an infinite mess and I can't go giving all of them free scrap. Infinite me's, you should know this. Oh, that's all. Uh, sell ammo. Oh, Ran Sewer Beam is so good. We can buy two things. What should we buy? Well, because the uplifted laser is a 16 second charge, the Ran Sewer Beam seems incredible for one power. It's absurdly good. <clears throat> then I don't think we need anything else. More weapons would be nice, but our current weapons are able to, to carry us for a long time. And in particular, this Ransur Beam is just stupidly, disgustingly great. So we will absolutely grab it and go. And we're gonna save up another 125 scrap for shields, and then we'll buy the scrap recovery arm. Oh, maybe we should just buy it first. I mean, if we buy it first, we'll get more scrap. And really, the number of shields that we have, prob energy shields, probably means we're never gonna get hit anyways. Especially because now what we can do is, um, just absolutely wreck their ship. We should take weapons out, and then breach all of this. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. What about meteors? Uh, just ignore the asteroid fields. Just, you know, don't, uh, don't go to the asteroid fields, dummy. Supposed to be hard or something? Dun, 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 dun. He died trying to repair the O2, huh? If only they all tried to do that. What are you gonna do? You're gonna do nothing? Deny their requested salvation. And he's dead. Sweet, 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 sweet. Um, 107 scrap. You know what? I think I will get the scrap arm. Because we have 12 super shield, we're not gonna need shields for a little while. We can roll this for, for quite some time. And in fact, we could, if we wanted to, get even more super shields. I think we can upgrade. Don't quite remember though. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uplifted counts as Aether Tech. Actually, I thought it was because of our shield, but that's a good point. We have an uplifted laser and a super shield already. Which one of those is Aether Tech? I don't know. Aether Tech. So we are going to take out their weapons first. We're gonna breach all of this stuff. What's going on? This man is on fire. He's not on fire, he was just stunned. There's no uh, no fires, just a couple of breaches. Life's a breach. Now what, take out the O2. This guy's also gonna be stunned. Still have one of their lasers online. Piddly little one damage thing. This effing beam says Architraz. It is just like such a good gun. <laughs> there we go. Now we don't have to dodge anything. I absolutely love this gun. Rensur, Rensur is shield piercing, right? It pierces one shields, does no damage, 
but it has an 80% reach chance. Yoink. Look at it go. We get the heavy ion. Um, nothing to do here. That's fine. One, two, three. We can go to three beacons and then leave, which is absolutely what I want to do. 73 scrap. I'm gonna be honest, uh, I know I should really save for shields. I really just want that. I want to be able to see what's happening on board enemy ships. A free mantis. Fight me, win, and I'll join your crew. Yes! 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 I'll just auto fire. You know what? Put a fire in the middle of their ship. I could, um... Oh, actually, you can't continue to kill their ship. Okay. Well, we got huts. Huts, huts the mantis. Um... I guess you can go on sensors. Well, you should probably go on doors temporarily, but eventually we'll have you be a, a boarding mantis, probably. <clears throat> I have to change the name of the mantis as well. Who wants to be a mantis? You barely have time to register jump completion before your ship warns you of an incoming ship with weapons hot. <laughs> Hot, 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 hot. Now, Separatist NGs are insanely annoying to kill. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to a heavy ion Ransur beam temporarily. Actually, you know what? We don't need to do that. Ransur beam penetrates shields. Uh, but here's what I, what I want. I want to take all of the oxygen out of the ship first before I start shooting them, it's because of the NG. The NG doesn't take a lot of damage from suffocation, just due to the, the nature of them. They can kind of turn into a nano form or whatever the heck it is. So I wanna be very careful with the NG, because I know that the NG can be really annoying. Once he gets down to low HP, he's gonna turn into his nano form. Should happen any second now. Well, he ran, but he ran, he ran so far away. I shoot him twice, hold on, I, I gotta wait because he's walking now. There he goes, so he's in nano form and he's stuck in the shield room. <laughs> he's spazzing the heck out. Got him. There was even like a repeating sound effect happening there just due to the fact that he was spazzing out. The game does not like Separatist NGs. They're really hard to kill, <laughs> surprisingly. All right, move on. Might wanna actually upgrade engines to get through the Rebels, but we'll see. Send your elite crew members in to save the station on fire. We get long range scanners and 24, 26 scrap. Sure, why not? Look, I know I should probably be saving for uh, shields, but... I, d I don't think we need it. I really don't. Like, we have so much power in our weapons, we can take out enemy ships super easily. I will say, um, I know of the Sylvan Mark III, okay? I know, or the C-type ship. I know how that works. I know that it's a really difficult ship. I don't know how you would possibly win with it, but maybe if we can unlock it, we'll try it out. I don't know if we're gonna be unlocking it on this run though. Go for it. At least we're taking their weapons offline. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what we would need to kill Sylvan easily. Or not even easily, just to kill him. So that missed. Did it miss us? No, that's hitting. Okay, run. <laughs> 
Union and Gathering. I'd rather do Union, because Gathering is Orchids, which is Missiles. Although we have a Super Shield, um, but if it's Orchids, then they also produce Oxygen, so just give me the space. Kurgo says, do you want to know what you need to kill Sylvan? I know what you need to kill Sylvan. You need everything. Um, although I, what I would imagine is I would imagine uh, an old fashioned classic strategy of sun commando rockman boarding that can just light their weapons room on fire would probably be the ideal way of killing Sylvan's crew. But I've never done it before. Because it's really freaking hard. You see the guy's ship, he's got like 10 freaking shields. Contact the guard. Request supplies, you give me none. I don't want to piss off the guard on this floor though. You know, why, why piss him off if you can avoid it? Bung, 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 bung. ASB shield piercing at least 12. It does pierce all shields, including super shield, which is really dumb, but I understand why. Salvage, nine scrap. Well, it's something, it's a living. We should get the um, piloting upgrade if we're gonna be doing this. Rescue them, Huts is gone? Glad I didn't give you a name. Probably a bit of a my mistake thing. We should have had the piloting upgrade. I wonder if that would have saved him. Continue, do nothing. Because, um... How can I see? Oh, I have slugs. That's why I can see enemy crew. Um, how come I have sensors? I guess this is like a partial nebula, which only partially reduces my my sensor. Interesting. Anyways, 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 anyways. Oh, they have been stunned, and they're burning, and they're dying, and one's dead, and the other is dead. <laughs> Rip Pizza Huts. Yeah, he he did die. Um. Let's do one of these. Yeah, what was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. Sylvan, Sylvan's a jerk. That's what we're talking about. He's a huge freaking jerk. Absolute a-hole. Should burn him. There we go. 23 scrap. We need fuel. We need a lot of stuff. I'm gonna do the ion storm. It's gonna ruin my super shield, but our wet. Oh, it's not a pulsar. I will raid the platform. I mean, as soon as we take out the weapons. Oh, they have a freaking artillery? Okay, this might be a little bit harder then, but it should still be okay. Bang, 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 bang. We do need to take out their weapons like ASA freaking P. I'm gonna, I'll fire all of my shots in on them. O2 is for winners, you know what you need to do, crew. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, actually, Arcatraz. Do need to make sure that my crew actually has the ability to not die. What is it? What does your freaking artillery do? Like, doesn't your artillery, like, create a storm cloud? Oh, it did. Yeah, it created a cloud around me. It like stops you from seeing what's happening aboard your ship. I think. Ding, 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 ding. By the way, I just realized um, with respirators and breaching sealant, we've got to actually take out the O2 room. Otherwise, they're going to get stuff repaired as they are doing right now. 
So they've got their bomb back online. Well, one crew member just died. Clong, 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 clong. We needed the fuel, so I'm glad we did this. The sailor form artillery cloaks up the screen makes it hard to see. Very spooky, says Kurgo. Spooky, scary. Nebula. Come seeping through the ship. Something, something, something. Um. Can't see in this shit. No salvage. All right, let's uh, jump ahead. Another ion storm. No. Yes? Whatever. <laughs> Continue. I mean, they only have one weapon anyways. It's not like they're actually going to be able to win. Just uh, do a one of these and a one of these. You know, let's actually do one of these. I like when it stuns them as they're walking into the room. He's on fire halfway through the door. Poor guy, really. Bam, bam, bam. Well, good luck. Um. Spooky scary slug stations. Spooky scary slug stations send shivers down your spine. All cord, because they're they're telepathic. Get it? Maybe. Wait, did the mantis die already? Says Aranistan. Man, you're a uh, you're getting caught up, huh? <laughs> yeah, they kind of just happen to step outside of the ship and get sucked out of it. I would not recommend. Hire a crew member, Maniscalco Gumpo. Hmm. You know, 26 for an NG is really not that bad. I think I'm gonna take it. You can then man the door system. And then I can do a quick little look to see how many crew we have. Eight possible crew members aboard the ship. Fine. Gumpo? Great name. Seagus Jr. can be Gumpo. Sun. And a free mantis store. The mantis love us. Is there anything that we need at the store? Fuel? Sell this heavy ion, which is just trash. Yeah. Yeah, we can jump up around and then We'll have to go through one extra empty beacon and hit up the exit later, but that's not a huge problem. Yeah, sure. Why not? Like, what's the alternative, really? We should not have gone... Well, we can go up. We should not have gone to this beacon. We should have gone from here to here to here. Could have saved one jump eventually, but whatever. We'll just... It co it's going to cost us one beacon in the end. Not a huge penalty. Do something like this. Mm, left their beam on, but their beam's not gonna do too much. Especially because they're in the room, which means I can just stun them. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Got him! Guardian Drone Mark 1, 4 fuel, 15 scrap. That is an acceptable surrender offer, especially considering there is a store. Continue. You must accept, gi accept gift if you're wanting to trade. Okay. Thank you. Dude, the free mantis are so gosh darn happy all the time. <laughs> they freaking love us. Looking to see how much it costs to do repairing. 
Still can't buy the shield system. It is limited to two bars. That's pretty, pretty silly. Um, sell the ion, sell the scanners, sell the guard drone, buy the shields, buy all the fuel. We're gonna need shields anyway, so buying it now, totally fine with it. Exit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna go to a lot of beacons. Milk Jug says, I hate being sick. <laughs> I'm sorry you're still sick. Uh, explore. Intervene, continue, do nothing. Oh, this is like my ideal fight. I just, I can kill the ship and then just not worry about anything. Let's do one of, uh, do like an auto fire here. And do an auto fire here. <laughs> You know what? We have a shield room. Hmm. This is one of those situations where if I was playing FTL on my own, I would put the NG in the shield room. I would go make dinner, take a shower, do my taxes, come back, and then he would be at maximum level of shield training. I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I will just keep playing the game. But we could, but we could. Single life form, investigate. You find a lone survivor. Uh, take him home or invite him to join the crew? I, I would like another crew member, I think. We get Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Welcome aboard, Charlie. should be Charlie. You know what? Standard human? You can be milk, ju milk jug. Standard sick human. Abe taxes stream when? Milk jug says, oh thanks. I uh, always delay my taxes until the last minute, so April 14th, let's say. Put it on your calendar, folks. One drone part for eight fuel. Absolutely. So one? I mean, we'll just keep going. We can do a lot of beacons before we have to meet up with the rebels. Slug rock ship. Talk the slugs into peacefully accepting the new price. Continue, continue. Okay, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three. We'll go one, two, three. Yeah. Sometimes you get something out of that. I, I know in the vanilla game, forcing the rock crew members to pay the debt is the best outcome because you either get into combat with a rock ship or you get scrapped for free or a, a, an upgrade for free. I forget which. In uh, multiverse, that event, I, I, I've yet to really figure out how to get a good payout, even when we're using crew member for the event, we still don't get anything. I, I don't know what that event is really doing. What are you offering? Can't run a salvage. We've gotten a lot of empty beacons, which is unfortunate. Torch, flak. We don't need a torch because we have the Ransur beam, which is actually just better. I would love a crew teleporter, but we can get that later. So this is just a bit of a waste of a store. You know what? Why don't we... um. Pick six. Continue. Looks like you'll have to crack another one. I get it. Nuts. Well, we know what to do. They have a battle drone, not a repair drone. So we will just take out their weapons and then break their ship. What gets the Ransur beam? Probably all of this. All of our shots miss the weapons room, which is terrible, except, hey, now it is uh, deoxygenated. So that crew member's dead, luckily. God, the Ransur beam is just stupid. <laughs> How is 
any enemy supposed to do anything when they come up against the Ransur Beam. Oh, sorry, what's that? Your ship's on fire? Your ship has no oxygen? There's holes across the whole damn thing? Oh, my bad. Take a deep breath, says Aranistan. <gasps> Actually, that's not what you want to do. You want to empty your, your lungs of oxygen when you're in a zero pressure environment, I think. If you take a deep breath, your freaking lungs explode. Doc, we get Asia. You know what? Oh, your locked down ability is not active yet, huh? Hey, Mud, get over here. Or actually, uh, you're not Mud, you're Toad. Toad, get over here. I've got some humans that need to be taken care of. These humans, they need to be taken care of. Thank you. Stop blowing holes in my ship. Aisha. You know what? I don't know why, but Gladare, I always think of the color blue. And you can go on. I hate to say it, you could actually probably go for weapons training, but I'm going to put you on sensors instead. All right, Rebels on exit time. We will probably take a little bit of damage. We don't need to spend the scrap. Just need to power up the engine system. We'll probably get hit by a couple of ASBs on the way out, but that's fine. We have a 34% chance of dodging them. Bang, bang. Let's do it. Activate the single shield. Activate the shields! 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 That was a lot of shots. I would like to get uh, maybe a cloak. There was one in one of the earlier shops that we couldn't afford. Oh, there it goes. A, um, a cloak would be real nice. Man, their crew is almost already dead. <laughs> a cloak would allow us to... Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You can't go anywhere. A cloak would allow us to um, keep our super shield for a lot longer. You dick! Where are you going to go? You're in the freaking piloting room? You don't even have any engines, you stupid. Arcatraz says, shield up! <laughs> Shield! Shield! One unit of shield, please. One unit of shield, please, Captain. Captain, one unit of shield, please, Captain. Ankles equals broken. Juked. <laughs> he juked me. I think I shot down their laser out of the sky, which is not, not ideal. Probably do, uh, probably do this. Man, we really did not hit ma very many shots there, huh? That's gonna land. O2's offline. We'll get that repaired. Oh, Nicola! Goodbye, Nicola. You're gonna send in three crew members? Oh, 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 it's magic! You know! We're gonna kill him. Got him. <laughs> oh, we're so good. Jump. Pirate parts sale. Abandoned frontier sale. 
I mean, I guess I know what this means. Um, Hector is what this means. Do we want to go to Pirates or Abandoned Frontier? Blaze Quill says, this ship looks fun. It's pretty powerful, have to admit. Tucko ship was also fun, but that one had a built-in weapon pre-igniter, which is amazing. Um, I guess we'll go uh, up to the pirate parts. Argy matey. These pirate parts are for sale. I should really stop talking during the transition, otherwise it makes it very difficult to find a good cut point. Pirate Sector, exit, come visit local Hector. Yeah, I really would rather not. Hmm, I never didn't think about it, but this is actually a very possibly tricky encounter due to the fact that they have super shields. We did summon one breach. We will probably get an ASB active, but first things first. Start some massive breaches to take the weapons offline. As the crew die, we will take out the clone bay. Actually, maybe we'll let the one Mantis respawn because he's not going to get anything repaired. We'll do this next. Good. Clumbay is still up, but they're, they're not going to be able to get their stuff repaired. And then... Take that offline, and then we'll take... Um, all their other stuff offline, I guess. Take this, take this. And we didn't even summon the ASB either, so we're not gonna take any damage. Why they didn't immediately activate the ASB when I jumped in the system, I have no freaking idea. There it is. Five fuel, four missiles, three drone parts, 23 scrap. So no uh, equipment, but a lot of loot, which is okay. And we will perform salvage, get stuff, beautiful. Teraxium, welcome. How you doing today, buddy? Buddy? <laughs> Do I really want to go to all these damn Hectar stores? Ugh. I mean, is there is there still a a ship to unlock in Hector Industries area? I don't know. Why don't we um? Why don't we go to the stores though? I mean, I need I need to buy stuff. I don't know what though. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for. What do we need to buy? Cloak. That would uh, teleporter. Teleporter is something that I do want on the ship. There we go. Now that's a plant, but he also takes a lot of damage from burning. Oh, but he's gonna live. He's gonna live and make it out. What a jerk. Now there is also a Lanius aboard the ship, which is gonna be a little bit harder to take out, but actually not gonna be that bad. Because I can just shoot him and then he should die. Well, he's gonna die anyways because we're gonna break the ship, but that's fine. Salvage the one extra ammo munition. Why not? Everyone go back to your rooms, jump away. I'm not healing everyone, but that's that's fine. Please Bull says, I want to join the crew. There. Piloting attempt to escape from the pirate. No. I have shields. We won't die. <laughs> that's, that's why I feel like this is okay. Oh, 
Once we take out their weapons, we're in the clear. So we'll do one of these. Beautiful, and then... We still have that missile launcher online. Lanius is gonna get stuff repaired. We have to just fire on him to take him out, I think. He's not dead. He's actually got a lot of health. Man, he really did not take that much damage, huh? Please die. Attempting to get away. That Lanius is... Oh, dead! All right. That's gonna come back online, isn't it? And I breached the piloting room, so they're getting, getting in there to repair it, too. All right, we'll destroy the ship. Lanius is gonna come back to life in a second anyways. What the heck? My freaking shot was just all wrong. <laughs> okay, 113 scrap. Might as well go to one more beacon. And we'll hit up those stores. Scan the boxes. We got 26 scrap. Let's take a minute. Heal up. I should really get the uh, med bay upgrade and the auto medibot dispersal because my crew is very slow aboard my ship for some reason. Just a part of this ship, I think. Go ahead, give me the points. Can't run salvage. One of these days I'll run salvage, man. Backup battery. Piercing torch. It's tempting. That's a lot of status effects, though. We really don't need it. I've learned to appreciate the uh, the Hectar weapons as well. Accuracy buff, power buff, etc., etc. Um, but I think we just want. Uh, I think we just want a crew teleporter. Our crew are powerful. We, we just we're not using them right now because we can't use them right now. I'll sell improved armories as well, and then um, just fix up a little bit. So what's what's the plan now? The plan now is a, he's got a bomb, stun bomb in the current room. Does not stun allies, but can eye on your system. Cloaks and ceases movement for 12 seconds. Still attacks. Kind of want my pilot, Mud, to be a part of this boarding crew, but... <clears throat> Maybe just we'll have the engine personnel in there, and then we can have our NG be on piloting. So we have no one on weapons? Well, I mean, you know, we need more crew. Let's see how this works. Well, we're gonna go to the no another store first, but then we'll see how it works. <clears throat> Hello. Thank you. Uh, go away. Thank you. We gotta get four of them, right? Do we have to get four or five? I think you have to get four. All right. So, hold on, you... Stun, breach, ionize, and lockdown of room. And you cloak. So what we should do is this. Let two people walk into the room. Then we do our, our little super breach there. They can't even get out now. The weapons were ionized and broken. And then if we want, we can also have our snail friend, Cloak, and he focuses on just attacking systems. Really, really quickly. Is 
seemed okay. And then we also have like another lockdown ability if we need it too. There's also no oxygen in this room. Uh, it'll be fine. Oops. Okay. Just give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that seems like it'll work. Okay, we just need um, we need uh respirators now so that our crew can't be so easily hurt by low oxygen and then we got it although I still think that mud would make a great unit to to add into this because he can stun all of the enemies for 12 seconds and then you just, everyone just shoots them <clears throat> then we'll have you be the pilot. NG pilot? I suppose, yeah, okay. We'll give this a shot. Where are we? One, two... One, two, three, four... Yeah, let's go down to the uh, distress store and then Hector store, I guess. Bang, 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 bang. Rescue the store. You clipped. Their ship is a little annoying, but we'll, uh, we'll try. Now, try it again. Weapons. Do you bomb immediately? No, you can wait a second, because it, it ionizes for three damage and does two system damage. Wait for another crew member to walk into the room. Maybe just wait for them all. Then you, you, you stun them. I think it took literally all of the weapons offline, because I think it did two damage, then ionized for three, so it took out five weapons. That's really good. Seems like an extremely great anti-boarding boarding squad. Decoy buoys is insanely good, we will buy that. That's gonna be our augment for like the rest of the game. We don't really need any more weapons at this point. Ion Barrage Mark II is uh, its fine. It can keep all shields offline permanently with enough shots. Could actually be kind of nice to use in addition to the uplifted burst laser so you can actually land more shots, but it does seem unnecessary right now. Okay. I think we've got a good setup here. I'm going to save stations as well, because this is working so well. We're not really going to be using our weapons for some time, it seems like. But being able to easily kill enemy ships via crew is lovely. Collect your point. Do nothing. Close. I wish we could do more at these stores, but once you get your point, you can't kill them. I think you only need four points, though, so I don't think we have to worry about the fact that we can't get to one of those stores. Now, you are annoying, but you don't do any hull damage. Still, we should probably go for the drones first now. Bomb is not available, so guess what? We have a secondary bomb. Actually, what we should do really is lockdown. No, we should bomb because it's a stun. No, we should lockdown. and ionize. Weapons can go on their weapons. Then we can take out their weapons. Okay. I mean, this was definitely like the hardest fight we've had. Really specifically because of the fact that, um, don't kill, uh, the ship. <laughs> Mostly specifically because of the fact that they have, uh, that drone. The drone was very annoying. I'm like, hold up. We gotta, we gotta go back on board their ship to kill this guy. Their ship might just blow up as well. Which I'd like to avoid, 
But if we can kill that rock man, then it, you know, will be fine. Actually, if he puts out the fire, that would be great. Please stop the ship from burning, and then I'll board you to kill you. Thank you. Don't attack the shield system. <laughs> you guys have a death wish or something? Okay, 32 scrap. Not enough to, to buy the upgrade yet. Do we have enough points? Collect it, yes we do. You only need four, but they give you five in case you, uh, you need another one. One, two, three. Not a lot to do on this sector. Because we, we spent so much time going to the stores, we're really not accomplishing that much on this sector, unfortunately, but with decoy buoys, we can make up for it on the next sector. That's my plan. Okay, take out their weapons. Bomb available. We bomb it now? No, bomb it now. The crew is stunned for quite some time, and then if they, if we needed them to be stunned for a little bit longer, that's why we got a mud bomb. That sounds like a great drink. A mud bomb. Is it gonna cloak? It did cloak. Well, you know what? Stop them from getting into the room. Wait a second. I don't really want to damage their ship anymore. We dodged the shot. Oh, right, because their weapons were not destroyed. They were just ionized, so I should have I should have been paying a little bit more attention there. That's fine, that's fine. This is the idea though, that if we can board them and take out their weapons from the inside with the bombs in particular, then we don't have to worry about um, taking damage. Because we can never take damage. Never, never, ever, ever take damage again. Okay, jump, exit. Explore. Just free stuff. A Federation cruiser jumping into rebel territory? Quite the bold move. Lucky for you, we're not all in support of the rebellion. Stay safe, my space friend. Wow. I really wish there was something else we could do at Empty Beacons, but unfortunately there isn't. Do we want to go to the Mantis store? I think we do. I think we do. Do we? Yeah, because we might be able to attack the store. Sorry, Mantises. Approach. Now that you mention it, continue, do nothing. Sorry, Mantises. Um, let's go for their weapons. It also just straight up does like 30 damage. That's pretty good. Like, that's a real good opening move with just teleporting aboard the enemy ship and launching a bomb. Pretty happy with how that works. We get 25 scrap, which is enough to get the internal med bay upgrade, which is what I want. And with so many drone parts in the next Sector, we're gonna get so much bonus time because we're gonna spend eight drone parts for three fleet delay. Okay. Jump. All right, we still have to fight. <laughs> All right, one more, and then we'll we'll leave. Wow, their ship is real freaking small. You know what? Hi. Welcome. Lockdown. Bomb. They're not gonna have a good time. We go 
for first. I think we just go for the crew, believe it or not. We only have one more crew member alive. And he's dead. Oh, Jesus, that's okay. What is that, shields? Uh, who needs them? Am I right? Luckily, it doesn't hurt the crew members in the room. <sighs> All right. Look, it's just, uh, it's crew training, you know? Someone's got to do it. Wrecked Territory Union Parts. Uh, I guess we'll go wrecked. Doesn't really make too much of a difference, I don't think. We could also uh, immediately go to, to the Hectar store. I don't really want to do it on Sector 8 because I want to maybe have the opportunity to fight Sylvan if we can make it work. So maybe we'll do it on like Sector 7 or 6 or something. But for now, let's go to Wreck Territory. Continue. Do something. Decoy buoys. Three delay. Abandoned sector. Do we reroute? Um, go to Hector? I don't really want to go to Hector. Let's just continue. And apparently there wasn't even anyone waiting for us at the beacon, which was uh, interesting. Warning! Shields critical! Warning! Warning! Danger! Warning! Warning! Danger! Warning! Pay the tribute. Uh, no? You don't seem to understand. My ship is really good. Your ship isn't. <laughs> oh, hey, look, all this crew, huh? It'd be a uh, real shameful if your crew just freaking died. Oh, got him. Imagine that. Now, I would like, I think, as long as there's no store, there's a store. Why are you so slow? I still think I want to upgrade. Respirators. Can't. Too expensive. Okay, never mind then. You pass by Sylvan and try to wave hello. Instead, he becomes gravely serious and stares you in the eyes. There will come a time, stranger, when we must face our demons. For the reckless few, the time will come sooner than it will later. And upon that day of judgment, we will learn the graceless truth. There is no mercy for any of us in the eye of God, but not even a tear for the sinner. What? Don't worry about it. It's much. Too much. Sorry, don't worry about it too much. It's just an important bit of advice from one friend to another, eh, stranger? Good to keep certain things in mind, in case you're ever feeling a bit too ambitious. Goodbye. Get off of my ship! Oswald says, looks like there's an aquarium in your oxygen room. I'd say it is more than it looks like it. Is that a mantis store? If it is, we should just do it. Never surrender. Never surrender! Yeah, if there's just a mantis store, we should just go blow it up. Sorry, mantis. Sorry, manti. Now. I think we'll actually just do it like this. God, that's just so good at taking weapons offline. It's stupid. In a in a great way. <laughs> oh, you want to walk into the room? By the way, that ship you had? Yeah, not anymore. Wait, what did I what did I do? Who's cloaked? Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. Allison the Lanius. Interesting. I get it. So, the Slug Ranger, which is Mud, 
tosses a bomb which ionizes the room and heat cloaks, but he can only target enemies, not systems. The snail, God Onion, can actually cloak and target systems, but not enemies. Get out of the room, you're hurting my freaking guy. I think I get it. Okay, everyone go back to your rooms. You stay there. Actually, you should go on weapons. Okay. Now we have Alanius. Uh, do we need Alanius to be a part of the boarding squad? I think the answer is no. We could use um, respirators to take less suffocation damage. In fact, our crystal takes less suffocation damage. Maybe what we should do is um, upgrade the teleporter and send out two squads. One of slugs and one of, you know, low oxygen. Actually, it sounds like it might be a pretty viable strategy, but for now, um, save stations and then jump. We have 80 scrap. Do we want to buy anything? There's another mantis store. I don't think we want to buy anything. Yeah. Part of Barbrich, welcome. How's it going today? I forgot to name the Elanius. We'll do that in a second. Great room for this. It is an extremely great little like one two combo. Still in this room, huh? Hi, guys. Oh, my slug is actually really injured. Mud, you're okay. Come back. Come back to me, Muddy. You know what we should also do while we have a moment? Because I haven't done it yet. Install the internal lab and then check slug upgrades. Stun resist and no longer lose skills when cloned. Lose the ability to sense crew, but gain combat damage, sabotage damage, and repair speed. Allied crew in the same room as slugs gain mind control immunity. Enemy crew lose it. I gotta admit, um, I don't really care about seeing enemies aboard their ships because I have sensors, so... A boost to combat damage, sabotage damage, and repair speed seems pretty fine. Uh, what do we have for crystal? Suffocation immunity. That would be great with Alanius. Gain sabotage damage, but lose movement speed. Gain fire resist, but lose their suffocation resist. Alanius drains oxygen at double speed, but half movement. Pretty interesting. Lanius repair and sabotage faster, but do less general crew damage. Lanius gain health, but their oxygen drain speed is quartered. And then NGs, and then crystals. We don't really need to worry about NGs and humans, though. So there are a few upgrades that I'm interested in. If we get a four-level teleporter, I'm interested in the idea of having multiple boarding squads. One of them is double oxygen drain Lanius crystal that is immune to low oxygen and then they can just like kill med bays or clone bays or weapon systems or something on their own actually seems like a pretty interesting idea but for now well actually for now um I will uh make the slugs better slugs are better at combat but they lose the ability to sense other crew members sounds fine Those upgrades cost a lot of fuel. A lot of the upgrades do cost things. I forgot the name. Place pool wants to be the Lanius. Place pool can be the Lanius. You can be the Lanius. Lompcha, welcome as well to the stream. How's it going? I can't get multiverse to work. I will admit, um, it did take a little while for me to, to get the multiverse mod working as well. It was a little bit fiddly. 
Because it's a mod and it's got multiple different like components to install. Man, that was just like a textbook engagement there. What a good squad. Boarding is kind of overpowered in FTL Multiverse. 108 scrap, one, two, three. Let's go to one beacon, then the store. I forgot to rename the Lanius. You didn't remind me. <laughs> I'll blame you. We can do this, but we can't send over the, the ranger mud. If we do, he'll die. But we can do it with the other crew members. Wait for that damn bomb to come online. There we go. This is actually a very difficult ship to kill the crew of, but if we just like keep teleporting back and forth, it should work. I like that. And then we can just do some of this. Keep him busy. I don't know, they're attacking the weapons. Might as well just let them do their thing. We're gonna have to retreat and come back, but that's, that's totally fair. What's a purple shield? It's a super shield. This ship starts with a sh super shield, but it only has maximum two normal shields. Well, it's actually gonna be a little bit difficult to work around, for sure. But life will uh, find a way. I think we're fine. Crew, crew might get a little bit beat up. They will live. They will live, they will live. Trust me, trust me, they will live. Told you. We should really get that reduced suffocation damage though. Let's go to the store real quick. Arcatraz says, thanks power outage, not like I wanted to watch the stream or anything. Better you than me. Approach the corpse. Um, I would like to shop actually, uh, but I don't want a mantis. I've already done salvage. Repair bomb, stun bomb. Card beam. We could get another Lanius and have double Lanius borders that suck oxygen. Not bad. I mean, I kind of like the idea. I also like the idea of getting like a um, cloaking system, but it's a little bit too expensive. Crew teleporter? I already have this. <laughs> um. I do like the idea of a double Lanius, though. Suck out the oxygen and then board enemies. Clone Bay? I don't want the Clone Bay. Clone Bay takes too much out of you, I think. Because you, well, because you, I guess you could get back up to, I don't like the Clone Bay. I like the med bay because you have passive healing aboard your ship, which is usually enough to turn the odds of combat into your favor. If you have a clone bay, then if your crew die, you gotta wait for them to come back. Yeah, they come back at full health, but... If it goes offline at the wrong moment, you're screwed. Like if if four, five, six of your crew members are dead because you were massively invaded, and you got to repair the clone bay, and there's like eight enemy crew aboard your ship, what are you gonna do? If you have the med bay, you can just one on one engage the enemies, 
And if your med bay goes offline, you just re really quickly get in there and repair it, and you have your other crew members uh, body block for you, basically. I really like the med bay more than the clone bay. So I think I'm just going to do nothing except maybe buy Alanius. Now, don't forget about the names, though. Names! Alison. You know what? That's how you wanted it. And then Mafan? Well, m my fan is mud, but you can be, uh, that's Bolt. So we got Please Bull and Bolt being our additional Lanius borders here. Let me see. You're gonna go here. You're gonna go here. I'm actually gonna have the slug mud. You, you should pilot mud. And then we'll have our NG be on weapons now. So let's see, we have engines, check. Shields, check. Weapons, check. Piloting, check. For now, the Lanias can be on doors and sensors, but then when we fully upgrade the teleporter, they're gonna hop on and be a second boarding squad. I like it, I like it. Actually, we're gonna have Milk Jug the human join them as well because she's not doing anything. <laughs> we, we don't we don't use our, our shields at all. So we might as well just have another body on the ship. Um, and then we can do some internal upgrades like better shielding. Oh, you need three shield performance upgrades. Okay, well. You need shields level four. I guess we'll just wait. I'd rather save the money than spend it now just to upgrade shields, which are completely pointless. A hail from a ship you cannot see. Respawn. Psst. Hey, Fetty boy, over here. I got the job offer for you. Me and my gang were heading to this rather fine looking colony. Mighty fine. Hoping to find a large score of supplies when a bunch of spiky metal dudes come busting out of nowhere. Nowhere, I tells you. Why, why don't you do us one big favor and clear that place out of the line of ships? We got pay if that's what you're looking for. Okay. I will go kill some Lanius. Oh my god, I hate that it's right there. Hey brother, why don't you do us a small favor and go kill us some Lanius, okay? Go kill us some of them Lanius. As I like to call them, huh? Why don't you go kill us some of those Lanius? Gods, we hate them. Don't we? Don't we hate them? Oh! Um, it's gonna lock down. Got him? Got him. Nah, he's gonna come back to life. It seems like a ship that's gonna be really hard to kill the crew of. Like, real, real hard. I mean, they have no weapons at least, but that crew member is gonna come back to life. We have Lanius. Yes, we do, we have Lanius, how about you? Got him. Got him! I need, I need to upgrade my... I need to upgrade my teleporter so we can do this a little bit more easily. The weapons are coming back online. I don't love it, so we're gonna board them. And then, what I actually like is the idea of just bombing them in this room and trying to kill them in this room. That'll stun those two. Stop them from repairing. The the crystal crew member is kind of dying. 35, 28, uh, run. They'll be fine, 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 they'll be fine. Now we should probably just send over the Lanius to get the job done. 
Oh, look at them trying to get stuff repaired. They can't. They're dumb. They're Lanius. Monka, nobody dies aboard my ship. Don't worry about it. Hello. You know what? This is actually kind of nice because it gets the Lanius some training. They do need it. If we're going to be using them as borders later. Okay, good. 29 scrap. Anything nearby? No. Okay. Good for the heal to finish, I guess. Three, le three level teleporter. Much better. One more, and then we can have uh, infinitely quick teleportation. What difficulty is this? This is hard extreme, or hard whatever it is. Just, just, just these guys, huh? Well, you can leave. You can go on board. I would m Would I rather take out the drone or their weapons? Probably rather take out the drone, although that is a chain heavy, but we can take that out later, maybe? We should take out their weapons, because the drone, we can just use shields. Sure, we'll do it like this. Actually, what we should do is just take out the fr freaking crew. They only have two crew members. What the heck? He just walked through the door. <laughs> hey, get out of there. That was weird. Because there was a lockdown around the room, he didn't want to leave the room thinking he couldn't get out, but he could because he's a wraith. Weird. There's a little uh, a little strangeness just due to the, the mod. And the fact that the AI doesn't really calculate how it should, I think. It's a g, -g, -g, -g ghost Bam 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 bam. Wraith, yeah, whatever they're freaking called. Ghost, Wraith, Wraith Ghost. Why are you so fast all of a sudden? Why are my slugs so slow? <laughs> no, Mud is just the slow one. <laughs> He's the, the very, very slow slug. <laughs> okay, quest. I want Ghostbuster race in FTL. Bustin' makes me feel good. It seems that it's much better protected than you thought with a group of Lanius ships, albeit small, in the dozens laying dormant nearby. Attack the leader, pick off the smaller, bad idea. Leader. Now. They have a teleporter, they have a mind control system. That's the hard part. The mind control system is the thing that's gonna get me killed. So that is why what we are going to do is Probably not board their ship immediately. We'll wait a second. We will take out their mind control and then go after the ship. Or we could just like go after the freaking uh, weapons room, but our shields are gonna go down at some point. I think we should go after their um, mind control. That's fine. I think it's fine because the human, they might take a little bit of extra damage, but we have a lower cooldown on our teleporter. We can leave when it gets scary. Stop shooting the human. It's like right now, for instance, leave really quickly, heal up. Toss out one of these again. And then, um, go say hi. 
With only the ion, I don't really worry about the crew, now do I? You know, actually, the Lanya should go over now. I do love that, like, sweet seven second stun. Lanya's welder. Temporarily moves slowly, but rapidly drains oxygen and regenerates health. Hmm. Interesting. We have no shields. Okay, let's get our shields online. Thank you, okay. Forget the pirate scrap or contact them and tell them that the colony is free from the Lanius threats. Yeah, let's do this and we get a heavy laser mark too. Dude, that's a great weapon. Way better than it was in vanilla, because in vanilla it was three power, here it's two power. And that's a ton of damage. <laughs> oh hi, Mach. It's a great gun. It's a little expensive right now, we don't really need too much in terms of heavy weapons because our crew boarding is actually extremely powerful. So for now, we'll chill, but I will a little bit more power. We have backup battery. I have not used that at all, which is probably very stupid. We should be using the backup battery like at all times. One, two. Yeah, we'll, we'll jump around a little bit before the end, but we'll, we'll only get like an extra two beacons. Engie want us to hunt down Lanius. Why do the, why does everyone want us to hunt down the Lanius? I guess it's the Lanius system, but like, what have they done to us? Oh, the mind control, I freaking, oh. I think we'll, act, we'll actually be completely fine. But that was still dumb. There we go. We'll actually be able to kill another one of their Lanius, but that was quite stupid. Go heal up real quick. Gotta take out their clone bay now. Actually, first things first. Breach this so that they can't get it repaired. I don't know, send over some Lanius? Lanius v Lanius? Backup battery? I probably should use the backup battery, but it's weird because I don't really need it. Like, what's the backup battery gonna do? It's gonna give me... Like, what? Two power to put in shields? <laughs> Something tells me that's not important right now. I mean, the crew member who should be on shields has just been kind of hanging out the whole time. They don't have anything to do aboard my ship. Hold on, retreat. Swap positions, get into the med bay, you guys bored. Weapon's not gonna not gonna do anything. You know what? We can just take it out. Really do need that one additional level of the teleporter though. Free teleporting means that we actually save four power aboard the ship too. We get the drone. And we uh, kept the drone. I guess they just needed to scan it, huh? Cool. 112 scrap. We're gonna go 
Internal upgrade teleporter, level 4 teleporter. Yes. It's quite good, quite good indeed. Now, whenever we are not teleporting, we have four power to use for something else. You love to see it. Like, you don't... If it wasn't Lania ships, this human would be a little bit better. Sorry, Milk Jug. Use the power for more dodges? Yeah, we just haven't needed it, though. Terraforming Team W82. Uh, check the slugs. We get a ship. Duskbringer Fugitive. Sure. Hmm. We need to be able to board ships with uh, super shields. That's the next thing to work on. You'll need dodge later on. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, but... We don't really need it right now. Okay. Board here. Go ahead, board me. <laughs> See how well that works for you. Where are you going? All right, 26 scraps. Very easy encounter. You lose a little bit of extra health than I would think. What is it, like 60 scrap for the um, respirators? We should probably pick those up. And you guys are real fast. Crystal crew member shouldn't be this fast. Why are you so fast? I don't know. It's be something to have, having to do with one of the ship upgrades. Okay. One, two. Yeah, we can go to two more beacons. We'll do it. 68 inch welcome. What on earth is a purple super shield? It's a good super shield. Must you know any more than that? Go to the beacon. I don't. I don't want to go to the store. You notice a number of Lania ships absorbing a forward rebel base and its automated scouts. Use them to delay the rebels, leave them alone, or use them to delay the rebels. Sure, we get 21 scrap and rebel fleet delay, which actually means we can go to the store too, so. Mmm, ah, no, we'll have to fight rebels. So you know what, why don't we just leave? Let's think, what do we need, what do we need, what do we need, what do we need? How much is the hard light bypass? Teleport bypass through super shields cost 50. That's super cheap. We'll take it. We might not need it immediately, but we will take it. Now we will power up the backup battery here because it actually is important. We need full power to the engines. Oh. No, okay, it's fine. I panicked it momentarily when they uh, cloaked. That's a long cloak. Can't help but notice that's one heck of a long cloak. That's fine. It's not ideal, but it actually doesn't really matter at all. We'll just send in the uh, NG to get that repaired. It doesn't matter because it's still on cooldown. Ooh, what a human? No, human's not going to do anything. Uh, why don't you guys come back? Actually, hold on. I have the perfect plan. Watch this. Okay, we stunned our own crew temporarily, but it also did a lot of damage to them. <laughs> Perfect plan. Surely we've killed a few of them by now. All right. Get out of here. Theocracy settlements. So slugs, I think, 